I'm Cameron DeMille with MB Stone Care. Uh, you may have seen our video on Easy Oxy. We've had it available for several months now, but we're just now making videos to introduce it to everybody. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't seen it, just a quick recap, Easy Oxy, uh, daily cleaner or uh, a little bit stronger than, than most daily cleaners or neutral cleaners. It is safe for all natural stone, including onyx, marble, quartz, engineered stone, porcelain, decton, all that stuff, appliances, glass, stainless steel, pretty much any hard surface you can think of. Uh, we have also now uh, Easy Scrub, which is uh, out of this trio, number one, Easy Oxy is number two, and the ultimate spray polish and preserver, number three. So these are gonna be used in this order if you need to use them all. Typically, you're gonna use just the Easy Oxy as a uh, daily cleaner, maintenance cleaner, stuff like that. Uh, we also have a glass of water. You may ask why I have a glass of water here. Uh, I just wanna show uh, a little visual reference for um, you know, the effect that these products have on this countertop right now. This countertop was wiped down thoroughly, not less than a week ago. Um, so we try to keep it as clean as we can um, with two kids and dogs and just stuff flying around the house. So uh, this will give you a good idea of the friction that we're experiencing here on a, just a regularly maintained countertop, um, how far it slides and then also how much the water sloshes around. So nothing special, nothing fancy. Um, we'll set this off to the side over here. So I'm feeling around there's a little bit of food and crust and stuff here. So easy oxy or I'm sorry, easy scrub first. Uh, just shake it a little bit. It's got this flip top here, which is pretty convenient. And you're just gonna put a little bit on the surface. Uh, you don't need much. It's a very loose liquid, so it's not like other uh, scrubs or products out there that might be thick and foamy or require you to add some water uh, to be able to use it. So I'm not scrubbing really hard. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it, but not much. And I'm just kind of doing little swirls, figure eights. Something like that. So, so this is a, a product formulated specifically for this task. It's a, very easy to use. It's it's very safe to use on on uh, most finished surfaces. It is not safe for automotive use. Uh, so don't use it on your on your vehicles, especially the paint or anything like that. Um, but it is safe for uh, stone and other appliances. So this would be good for scrubbing down your stainless steel sink without the risk of, of scratching it. Uh, but do not use it on stainless steel that has the protective clear coat on it. Um, only on raw stainless. So that already feels a lot better. I'm going to move this stuff over here. Do the other half. So you notice I'm not covering the whole counter with this stuff because you really don't need that much. It might seem like it kind of goes away and the rag is sucking it all up. It's there in the rag. You can use a terry cloth, you can use microfiber, you can use white. Scotch Bright scrubby pads, the non abrasive kind. If you feel something under your rag, like a little lump of food, just give it a couple extra little scrubs. And once you're satisfied, you're going to flip the towel over just to remove any remaining film or residue. And that's like a scrubbing, deep scrub 
that kind of uh, for you ladies, this is uh, similar to like a scrub, like a facial scrub uh, or an emulsifying face scrub. Gentlemen, this is for uh, equivalent to using a clay bar on a car. It, it picks up all the embedded dirt and soiling and stuff out of the pits of the countertop that would normally not come out under normal cleaning circumstances. <clears throat> Next, we want to use our Easy Oxy sparingly. We're just going to wipe it down to really clean any remaining residue. Okay. And this is going to get any of the soiling or anything that was left from the easy scrub process. It's going to pick it up and just make it really nice and clean. Keep moving this around. That's all right. Now, a lot of people are um, unsure of how to properly clean a countertop. It's not difficult, but it has to be done a certain way, or at a minimum, a certain way to really, truly be able to pick up uh, the, the debris and the dirt and stuff like that, and not just smear it around. First of all, you gotta have a good cleaner, one that does not leave streaks, like the Oxy. Um, but you should be able to do this with any type of neutral cleaner that does not have waxes or uh, any additives or polishes or anything like that in there, soaps, stuff like that. So you will spray the cleaner, have a rag folded up into four layers, preferably, and you clean. If you can, you can get down and look and see if it's streaking. And as it starts to dry up and streak, you flip the towel over, making sure that the other side is relatively dry, and you just buff it dry. You don't have to work the product into the surface, you're just drying it. If you just take a washcloth and wipe everything down with water or soap, and you don't buff the surface dry, then you're just smearing stuff around and letting it dry. And if you know, you have a hard time cleaning and that's something that you're struggling with and you keep doing that over and over, then at some point you're gonna have so much film and residue on the surface that it won't be able to be cleaned. It'll have to be uh, like polished off with a machine with a one or two abrasive steps. So. And this is not how you're going to clean the countertop every single day. Sometimes you can just wipe it down, no big deal. But if you want to really give it a good clean before you have a party on the weekend, something like that, you want to really make sure that you do it the right way. So, second step done. Now, we're going to move on to the ultimate spray polish. First, we have a very clean surface right now. Ready to eat off of, feels great. No, uh, nothing stuck to the surface, no more food. So we'll just kind of clean the bottom of our glass, give it a fair chance. It's better, much better. I can feel that it's sliding a little bit better. This doesn't mean anything, this is just a visual reference for you that are watching the video. Um, and some people kind of get a kick out of this. If you have a bar, you can slide it all the way down to the bar, but you see it kind of comes to an abrupt halt and the water sort of sloshes around a little bit. Now we're going to use the ultimate spray polish. This is uh, something you want to use sparingly. You don't want to use it every day. Uh, if you use it incorrectly, meaning too much at one time, or you don't buff it in, or you use it too often, it can generate a film. But we're gonna just mist it on the surface, okay? Same thing with uh, one side of the towel. You're gonna do a little bit smaller areas at a time than you would with the cleaner. And this is something that you're definitely gonna 
want to uh, check on and you just get down and look at the light, flip it over and bump it dry. For this product, we reached a peak formulation or what is what we found works the best way. And with that comes um, the fact that this only works well with microfiber or like a, a wool, lamp wool bonnet on a machine. It does not work with terry cloth or paper towel very well at all. So um, just a little note there. Just to miss the product. Make sure it gets worked in. Flip it. And buff it. And that's literally all you need. So we're gonna put this over here. Do the last, last little section. Now, if you clean like this every once in a while and do the three stages or even just the two stages, you don't have to do all the steps every time. You can just uh, spritz some Easy Oxy Cleaner periodically during the week, clean it, the ultimate spray polish will still be there. You could just use the ultimate spray polish as a very light duty cleaner every once in a while. So this is not a whole process that you have to do every time you clean your counter. This is just something that we recommend if you are looking to impress your guests or your wife. Your wife would definitely be impressed with this. Also, for home materials like home blackout salute, home Cambrian black granite, or home engineered stones, this is a really, really good deal for uh, limiting uh, or even eliminating fingerprints and smudges. It, it won't leave streaks and smudges from what you would typically leave when you're touching it with your skin. So let's, uh, let's check this out. Right now, it feels incredible. And uh, we're gonna just clean the bottom of the, of the glass there. And we're gonna check it out. And uh, that's pretty good, I would say. So, it's not like ice, but it uh, definitely goes farther. And it just kind of gives you an idea of how slick the finish is. So I'm not gonna push it or I'm gonna dump that off the edge. Now, this will last, this finish during normal wear and tear. I have two kids, three dogs, one of them which jumps up here and puts their dirty paws and tries to get stuff and slobbers and it gets, it's heavily used. Uh, 12 years old, 13 years old is counted up and it gets used every day. This is the one spot where my wife stands and does the bills. This is, this is the most heavily used spot in the kitchen. The ultimate spray polish will last approximately a week under normal wear and tear, so it does it does last a, a good amount of time, um, and it just makes it that much easier to clean up. So I highly recommend um, checking out those products. I'll show them to you again. Easy Oxy for daily maintenance, uh, routine cleaning of any hard surface and a lot of different surfaces around your house, including glass, engineered stone, plastic. Easy scrub if you need something more aggressive than the Easy Oxy, and this is going to be a periodic cleaner. So, um, if you have hard water around your faucets, if it's granite, you can scrape it with a razor blade as much as you can. Then the scrub will get rid of the remaining uh, hard water film. Ultimate spray polish to be used approximately once a week or however you see fit. Uh, this is going to create an ultra slick finish. Uh, you can even use it on cabinets. It's an immediately noticeable difference. Um, the counters not only feel slick, but they feel, um, you know, I don't even know how to describe it. It just feels amazing. You gotta try it for yourself.